Hi, I'm Leslie Kale Villarreal, and I am excited to talk to you about my ancient goldsmithing class. So I had a lot of students wanting to learn to work in gold, so I've spent thousands of dollars and hundreds of hours educating myself uh, on how to work with uh, 24 karat fine gold and alloying it down and making it into usable, beautiful material. So we're going to take this little uh, one ounce of gold grain and we are going to add a little copper, add a little silver, and we are going to make it into some beautiful heirloom pieces of jewelry that you can hand down to your children and grandchildren or maybe sell and make a whole lot of money. So why should you work in gold? Um, silver is great, it's beautiful material, um, and um, but the deal is, is if you make something and you spend all that time working on it, and I know some of you have incredible fabrication skills and you've taken some of my classes and done wonderful jobs, and uh, however, when it goes to sell your piece, you say, well, what can I sell it for? And I have to stop at three or $400 because it's silver. So um, working in gold will take your work to a whole new level. Working in gold is a great thing to do to step up your game a little bit. When you start even adding a gold bezel to a silver ring, it increases the value and increases your profit. So not only are you investing in yourself and your skills and your education as a jeweler, but you'll be creating two beautiful rings and the value of these rings would be worth more than four times of what the cost, including the gold, that you invested in this class. And that is worth the investment, in my opinion. If you really and set yourself apart from what other jewelers are doing in your arena, okay? So uh, this class that I'm teaching is over 10 hours of usable video, watchable video. I've taken a month's worth of video and condensed it down into the most important, concise bits that I can. And to make sure, as you know, if you've taken my classes before, I show you absolutely everything that I'm doing and I don't hide anything from you. And of course, I'm always here to answer questions, whether you've recently taken the class or you took it later. I'm also going to run this class for a lot longer than I ran my other classes. So um, you'll have at least four months of uh, time to view the class, to go in, because there's so much in here. I'm going to teach you how to uh, alloy your gold. So you're going to start with some uh, 24 karat granules. And we're going to alloy it with a little bit of copper and silver. We're going to alloying is changing the alloy from 24 down to 22 karat, so that you can fuse it, and it will be usable for bezels and back plates and granulation and pendants and earrings. And I will even show you how to take that alloy down a little bit further into like a 21 or 20 k, so you can make ring shanks to go with those beautiful bezels and back plates. So I'm going to show you all of that now. The skills that you will learn in this class besides the alloying. I'll teach you to remelt your scraps and reuse them in the same project uh, so that there's no fear, there's no concern, and you don't have to worry about making a big investment in gold and not being able to use it because I'm going to show you how to remelt it and remake it right from your studio. You don't have to send it out for refining or anything. Okay, So that is a big bonus to working in gold. Uh, also, I'm going to teach you how to forge it out, first of all, to compress it and make it into usable uh, ingots. We're going to roll it in the rolling mill. I'm going to show you finally what those little grooves on your rolling mill are for that you may have never used before. You will need a combo mill for this roll class. If you don't we'll uh, use the, the grooves to make square ingots. I'll show you how to do that. We'll take those square ingots and I'll teach you how to use a draw plate and your homemade draw bench. I'm going to teach you how to make a really inexpensive draw bench so you can draw those ingots down into wire or half round ring shanks or whatever your heart desires for your project. Like I said earlier, I'll teach you how to solder it, I'll teach you how to fuse it, and uh, I'll even touch a little bit on granulation, though I'm saving granulation for a whole separate class. Like I said. Okay, all right, so I hope you're interested in taking my class, and I hope we're going to have a lot of fun, and you're going to learn a lot, and we'll keep on making some pretty things, okay? Thank you.